Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3, and today I want to answer the question, is it wrong to use a credit card to finance your watch purchase, watch collection, etc.? And uh, I, I, was, I was looking around some forums and there was a very interesting question asked. Someone was asking the question, uh, look, I've got that. They, they basically said, look, I've got a Rolex Submariner steel. When, when is it okay? Because since I bought the watch, I've been married. I've got, got, a, got a wife. I've got a house. Blah, 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 blah. When is it okay to buy the next piece? And that's a very interesting question. Is it okay to use credit card, a credit card, to finance your collection? Very interesting question indeed. And I got to tell you, I mean, I mean, the smart ass cookies in the audience, you know, they say, oh no, pay cash, pay cash. If you can't afford it, if you can't afford it, you can't buy it. You got to ask the price. You can't afford it. Yada yada yada. And they're all snaky smart asses because the reality is, if we waited until we had the cash, we'd all be fucking sixty five seventy. And we, you know, life is a bit more about life is about having some good experiences, not just being a tight ass cunt who eats beans and rice, beans and rice, every fucking meal. Now, with that said, you gotta be a bit careful. You gotta have some moderation. So, I wanna ask the question, is it okay to use a credit card to finance a purchase? And the first thing I gotta tell you is, you know, you know why I started buying secondhand watches? Do you know why I started wheeler dealing horse trading in watches why why did i do it fuckers why why because i could never afford them i mean buying a rolex watch is fucking expensive a quality timepiece is many thousands of dollars and uh i mean fuck it's just so hard to do so i became a mini dealer I you know mini dealer is someone who's not necessarily doing it for profit you're doing it to you know have a few watches in different periods of your life and I gotta tell you the, the basic rules are this I think it's okay from time to time to use a credit card to purchase a watch with the following provisos fuckers Number one, I wouldn't be buying new watches. I'd be buying second hand. So you want to get in touch with a couple of dealers. You want to sort of get, you want to know what a good value watch is. So you want to try and, you know, get a bit of a cooey as for the pricing. The next thing you want to do is you want to have some money. You don't want to just borrow the lot. You want to have a bit of skin in the game. You want to put some bit of a deposit. So if you have to get out of it, you're not out by a fortune. I mean, if you walk into a dealer, buy some shitter, you're going to lose a lot of money. And if you have to sell it, you're going to take a bloodbath. That's not a fun experience. Whereas if you were buying a secondhand Omega Speedmaster Moon on the Moon, moon watch you bought one of those second hand you wore it for a while and then you wanted to sell it because of the next purchase if you bought it second hand and it was in reasonable condition you should get most of your money back if not a small profit and i think what you gotta do is every man every man needs to Every man needs to, if you're serious about the hobby, you got to learn to trade a bit. Now, I got to tell you, someone said something very clever to me years ago. They're talking about classic cars. They say there's either two ways you go with classic cars. Either you're rich to pay some bastard to fix it, 
or you learn how to horse trade and do things on this cheaper end. And with watches, you got to learn what's a good buy, what's a dog. You got to learn the margins. You got to learn how to sell. And you got to learn how to fucking do a deal. And I, I really think myself, every man out there, if you love watches, right, you got to have your own little private trading stash. You got to be a bit of a mini dealer. So that way there, the wife says, Oh, you bought a new watch. Oh yeah, I'm trying to flick it. Yeah, you just you just keep it on the back burner, you know, because you gotta a man's gotta do what a man a man's gotta have some balls. He's gotta have his own money. And I mean if a man wants to visit a prostitute, you can't go and say, Oh honey, I took two hundred out of the joint account to go and get my prick sucked. It don't work so well. You gotta have your own stash of cash. You gotta have your own stash. Buy and sell a bit. If you make a bit, we can visit a hooker. You know, this is the whole thing. Trading situation. So, my own opinion, is it wrong to use a credit card to buy a watch? Well, try not to do it. But if you have to do it, if you have to do it, sure, of course you can use a credit card. And this is the whole thing. With luxury watches and timepieces, you got to be smart. See, I started wheeler dealing in watches because I could never afford these things. So you buy one, you, you pay it mainly off, and you upgrade to the next one. You know, you, you kind of do these deals. And these are good skills to have. As a mini dealer, this is what you have to do. Now, in my case... I used a lot of borrowed money to build a collection, show it off on my YouTube channel, and now I've sold a lot off. I've still got a nice collection, and that's mine. That's my watches. And uh, so I, I, I got to tell you, is it wrong to use a card, credit card? No, no, in moderation, as long as you don't go fucking crazy. I mean, if you earn 50000 a year, you don't want to owe 30 grand on credit card, do you? It's a bit dangerous. But if you if you earn 70 grand a year and you got a couple grand on a card, so fucking what? You're going to wait for the bitch to give you permission to buy something? It'll never fucking happen. It'll never fucking happen. And, uh, you know, I think using debt constructively can't be a terrible thing. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. So I think if you use debt constructively, yeah, build a little collection. So what? That's exactly right. So uh, I think it's quite okay. Use debt to build collection. Buy the icons. Listen to Archie Luxury and you fuckers won't go wrong. See you later, fuckers.